In this video, we'll identify the type of reaction for H2SO4 plus Zn. This is sulfuric acid and this is zinc metal. So when we look at the pattern here, we see the hydrogen and the zinc. The hydrogen starts out with the sulfate, but it ends up by itself. The zinc starts by itself, it ends up with the sulfate. So the zinc has pushed out the hydrogen, so the hydrogen's by itself. So this looks like a single replacement reaction. The zinc has replaced the hydrogen. So we have zinc now is with the sulfate, the hydrogen's all by itself. With these single replacement reactions, it's a good idea to take a look at the activity series to see if the zinc actually is strong enough to push the hydrogen out. So if we look at the activity series here, we're looking for zinc and then hydrogen. Zinc is right here, and here's hydrogen. So the more reactive elements are at the top. Zinc is more reactive than hydrogen, so zinc is going to push the hydrogen out. This reaction will take place as written. There's another type of reaction we could call this as well. If we look at the oxidation numbers for each element here, so we're looking at hydrogen, hydrogen goes from a plus one to a zero, since it's a free element here. Zinc, which is a free element, it goes from zero to a plus two. So since these oxidation states change, we call this a redox reaction. Electrons were exchanged in this reaction. So it's two reactions. We have the single replacement reaction where the zinc replaces the hydrogen, and then we have the redox reaction where electrons are exchanged and we have different oxidation states on either side. This is Dr. B with the type of reaction for H2SO4 plus Zn. Thanks for watching.